Hi everyone, I'm Miss Rachel and I'm the Year 2 teacher at Highfields Campus. I teach Oak class. For those of you who haven't met me before, hello and for my class, hi guys, I hope you're all okay. Now I hope that everybody had a really wonderful Easter break and that you managed to do lots of the positivity projects that were put up by staff members. They really were so much fun. If you didn't get a chance to do some of them, why not have a look back at them and see if there are any that you'd like to do? Now today I'm going to be introducing your theme work for today's lesson on the snail and the whale and we're going to be doing all about art. However, beforehand, one of the things that Oak Class really loved about my morning messages was the word up and I didn't want to deprive them of that. So without any further ado, here is your word up for today. So are you ready guys for another word up? You know the song, if you don't you soon will. Three, two, one. Hey, all of Dunkirk in your homes, I got a new word to show you, so tell all your boys and girls, word up. Okay, so today our word that we are going to be learning is idyllic, all right? Can you say it? Idyllic. 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 Well done. Now, idyllic. Um, I've been inspired by my work on the snail and the whale. Looking at that beautiful island with fiery mountains and golden sands, I was inspired by the word idyllic because I thought it looked like a really idyllic place to stay. Now, idyllic means that it's something that's extremely happy, pleasant, peaceful or picturesque without any difficulties or dangers. Now of course if that volcano erupted on my island it wouldn't be an idyllic island anymore. However while it is still dormant it does look like an absolutely beautiful idyllic place to say. Somewhere where you would feel happy, somewhere that looks and feels really pleasant, somewhere that's incredibly peaceful. There aren't many people out there and something that is really picturesque. It's beautiful to look at. Now, where would be an idyllic place for you, I wonder? If I were going to answer this question, I would say an idyllic place for me would be lying on a deserted, beautiful beach surrounded by trees and flowers. That would be an absolutely idyllic place for me. What about you? Could you have a go at using the word idyllic in a sentence? Maybe use it in more than one sentence. Your challenge for today is can you use the word idyllic in your daily routine, in your daily life? Can you really impress an older brother or sister by using that word? Give it a go. Okay, so now we're going to have a go at moving on to your thematic work for today. Like I said, we're doing artwork that's been inspired by the book The Snail and the Whale by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. Axel Scheffler is one of my favourite illustrators and I think that the pictures that he creates are just absolutely beautiful. They are idyllic. Now, we're going to be using a technique called collage today. That is basically where you've got lots of different pieces of coloured cardboard, paper, foil, felt, fabric, whatever you've got at home, and you rip them or cut them up into tiny pieces and stick them on a piece of paper. And eventually you end up with a piece of work, a masterpiece. So to be successful for today, I hope that you have been collecting some scrap bits of cardboard boxes, have a look at your recycling, have you got anything in your bedrooms, any old bits of paper, or bits of felt that you've been using for craft, things like that, sequins, tin foil, whatever you've got. Okay. Now something that I found is when you've got a cardboard box and it's got a colour on the outside, on the inside a lot of the cardboard boxes are different shades of brown or grey and that worked really really well for the mountains but it could also work really well for the tree trunk, for the sand. Okay, So don't just think that you have to use the colourful side, you can also use the inside of the cardboard. I hope you're excited about today's challenge. 
Here's a little video to show you how to make your picture. I really hope it's inspired you to be able to go out and create your own artwork. Now remember, it doesn't have to look exactly like mine. My little girl lady helped me with mine and she had some of her own ideas and that's absolutely fine. If you want to create something that looks a little bit different, wonderful. If you only have um, purples or pinks and no greens or blues, don't worry, use whatever you have at home, use whatever recycling you've got to create your very own version. I'd love to see some of your examples, so if you could send me any pictures to oak at dunkirk.nottingham.sch.uk, that would be wonderful. I hope you have lots of fun doing your literacy and doing your maths work for today. Stay home, stay safe, and we miss you loads. Bye. Hi, I'm so sorry to sneak in on your morning message, Miss Rachel, but I just had to say happy birthday, Aisha, in the lovely words of Sarah and Duck. It's your birthday today. You were born on this day, another year to play. You were born, hooray! We hope you have a fabulous day from all your friends in Palm Class. Right, I'll let you get back to telling them all about today's work now, Miss Rachel. Thank you. Bye.